So I got some bad news and some good news for you guys. The bad news is uh, my wife recently tested positive for COVID. I'm not feeling 100%. I'm kind of low on energy. However, the good news is we have a pretty exciting new game. I, I get to play video games for my job, so that's really great. And this game is free and it's pretty sweet. It kind of reminds me, it kind of reminds me of the castle a little bit. And I'll show you why. Now we're gonna be jumping. There's three different modes you can play. Skirmish, endless mode, and challenge maps. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and just try it off with endless. We're gonna kind of be learning as we go. I did the basic tutorial, which is like, hey man, do some stuff. And I'm like, hey man, I, li I like to do stuff. I'm pretty good at doing stuff. But the first thing that we need is a good wood economy. That's right, we gotta have good wood so i'm gonna go ahead and unlock another tile around me see how it's sort of resembling the castle in that you have like either hexagons or pentagons type spaces right and then what we want to do is basically build that up now while we're building we can upgrade our keep you can even build walls around your tiles very very similarly to the castle it's like wait a minute where well, why are there so many similar games it's always curious to me now i don't think the numbers matter too much because that just does plus 20 and that just plus 10. Uh, there, there might be a rhyme or reason to it maybe it's just not implemented just yet but i've noticed that you don't have to be too optimal in your placement at least right now i do hope it changes because then it would uh implement a system of like you know trying to be efficient but basically what we're doing is building a castle and trying to survive a mongol invasion the gong uh, the golden horde survive as long as you can oh i was like in the tutorial they had a countdown i was like wait we only have a minute left no that is how long we've survived so far so i'd say we're doing pretty good we're gonna want to unlock stone next so in order to do that we're gonna need 170 wood and 20 meat so that'll be easy to do and then we gotta wait for our wood to build up again so i think in the early times you definitely want to have uh, a ton of wood coming in and I think with three plus the ten coming out of your default keep is gonna be able to give that to us so let's see is there another area I could put this in see you can't have them too close here we go let's just test this out now I'd imagine this is gonna be patched if this is if this works I can just spam this now we also have supply cap how many men we can make I've got 40 archers right here, you can see. So we're gonna get some stone coming in. Cause in order to upgrade this, we just need a lot of wood and food. Okay, so then let's actually get some food next. Now, after that, we're gonna wanna build a military camp so we can recruit more soldiers and we're gonna wanna make villages. And we can also just really mass out stone and start building like a protected little area. And eventually the golden horde, the Mongols are gonna be sending in little waves and we're gonna have to survive as long as is humanly possible. Oh God, they're here. Oh my God. This is fine, guys. Dude, what? How much was that? Endless mode is, is tricky. Can I, can I get inside my castle and use that? Get inside the castle. Guys, I want you inside the castle. All right, let's get some swordmen, some men at arms here. This is not going well. All right, but the men at arms are almost available. Yeah, men at arms, get in there, boys. And then in order to be able to build more men, we can build a little house over here, which will increase my unit cap. But honestly, I'm, I'm losing a lot of men right now. My archers are pretty much like wiped out and my keep is not doing too hot. I need 200 uh, food and I'm at 131. They're just wiping out my archers, aren't they? They're like, yeah. Yeah, we don't care about those guys. But yeah, so uh, endless mode's different. Uh, it's pretty exciting. I didn't know I was gonna needing uh, that many soldiers that quickly. But here we are. I'm being the, the sickness is trying to beat me up, and in, in the Mongols too, man. You know, it's just a rough day out there. All right, are they retreating? No, they are actually going to attack that little lumber hut. All right, can I build this yet? No, I actually need more food. So in order to get more food, let's go ahead and place it over there. 98% means should be a lot of, uh, you know, grain that I'll be able to grow. All right, let's get another house so we can protect ourselves. And you know what? We could always get another military camp. All right, so the farm is up and running. I don't know how to repair this. <laughs> Never mind. I know how to repair it just like that. Use the repair button. Now, how are we doing? We're probably going to want to unlock a new area. And let's get this one so that we can get a little bit more lumber. And then I'll get some more stuff. 
stone cutting. And the battles, eh, they take a while. Now, you gotta remember that this game is free. I'm gonna have a link in the video description below for you guys to download it. The game's not, you know, sponsoring at all. I'm just, I always love to see, like, cool games that are relatively cheap or free or something like that. And honestly, Castle Siege is always catch my fans. Wow. Now, once again, I do want to apologize. I feel like my energy level is way off compared to normal. Oh my God, and the Mongols. Oh, now they're bringing in cavalry. Looks like they got spear boys. Now, in order to counter that, I'll probably want spear, but I need to get iron. Oh what my God. Are you kidding me? Where's the iron? The iron's over here. Can I even get that in time? No. <laughs> this is insane. They're already here in like mass. Maybe I should have unlocked Spearman as quickly as possible. Did I did I have a certain difficulty level, but this is endless mode You probably got to be pretty good. So we'll probably go back to skirmish in challenge modes Now these are just no these are the golden horde guys as well on horse with big long pointy sticks And I'm I'm, I'm fighting them with swords. It's not an efficient exchange. That is for sure but maybe just maybe I can buy enough time probably not. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna die. You know what? Maybe just massing resources faster. I think what it was was we got caught on the wrong foot early. And this seems to be more f uh, like a much faster pace of a game than I would have expected. I mean, we're six minutes in and I feel like I'm facing the apocalypse. There we go. There's some spearmen. So I'll get a couple of houses done so that I should be able to produce out of two of my barrackses. What's the plural of barracks? I, I don't even know. All right. Can I get more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it seems pumping out houses and then men may be the ticket. Unlock repair. I, I, I just did. I just did. There we go. There's some spears. So spears against horses should be far more efficient. And we'll get those guys queued up down here. Yeah, I think there's probably going to be a rock, paper, scissors mechanic. Swordsmen kill spears. Spears kill horses. Uh, archers. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, archers. I, I feel like it usually is, right? There we go. Yeah, and then you will mass down here. So let's actually get back on some more houses. Like, I feel like the enemies just come in waves. And this is a free game, so you have to just, like, give the developers mad props for, like, giving us access to this, right? And being able to play it. However, that being said, I would definitely like... Oh my god. Like, little indications. Now, these are the bad boys. These are the horse archers. What the Mongols were known for. Are we dead yet? Uh, we're gonna be dead soon, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, battles, like, take forever, it seems. Here we go. Oh! Cool! There's guys over here now! Jeez! I need reinforcements over here. Yeah, and so, like, the fighting could be a little bit better, but... <laughs> you can't- I mean, I can't really complain too much, because this is free. All right, so what I'm in desperate need of is food in order to upgrade my keep. I think maybe early stone rush may be what was necessary, but my men are getting cut to ribbons and now they're just bombarding us with arrows from behind, but I do like the art style. Feels like a mix of the castle, a total war game, maybe a little bit of a battle simulator. Your spearman is under attack. Yeah, everybody's under attack, friend. Here we go, we'll upgrade to level two while it's getting destroyed. But visually, this will look different as well. So endless mode is a true challenge. I mean, I thought we were gonna, I thought we were, you know, I, I thought a lot of things and I was woefully mistaken. Now we do have the armory, here we go. So armory unlocks shields and spears. Oh, full thrust. Yeah, they're like, no, we don't know how to do, you know, we can only do a half thrust, but we made it over 10 minutes, so that's pretty good. Now let's try out, I wanna see what the challenges are. So this is nice, numbers. I like numbers, especially when they're going up, not when my numbers are dwindling. Let's take a look at the challenge maps. So we've got a little bit of like, you know, a little campaign going on here. You go all the way down this path and it looks like war is the one. What is it? What is this even good for anyway? But it's up there in the mountains. I'm not sure if we're like in a fortress or maybe resources are a little more scarce there. So let's actually start in the desert. Try to survive in a barren wasteland. See, look, it's it's made specifically for me. It's a wasteland. It's a barren wasteland. Oh my God. Oh God, they weren't lying. Oh, but I have so many resources. Okay. Well, one thing I'd like to do is actually build walls for once. So I've got to manually click. We'll get a camp out here. The last Mongolian army will approach. And I mean, I've got, I've basically got everything I want. I'm not limited to anything. So let's actually upgrade 
this and get like multiple camps out. Now, can I get the armory? We'll get the bow one upgrade. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I've got like 5,000 of every starting resource and no ability to get more. So how do I upgrade a keep level three? Okay, so we're gonna go straight for keep upgrades. And you can see my little Q timer over here on the left side of the screen. Now, if you guys do wanna see more of this, well, let me know. Pull the trigger and like button and you know, let me know in the comments, obviously. Um, it is free, links in the description. All right, now we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna have upgrades to everything. So this is interesting. We gotta see like the end game mode where like the most difficult one, endless. How long can you survive? But now this is actually giving us an opportunity to really see everything that's in the game. So I'm gonna wait till we have all the upgrades. I mean, the last Mongolians, actually, you know what? This is normally when they attack, right? So I'm gonna have one thing of pikemen and one thing of archers, and then I'm gonna try to upgrade everything else. So we need upgrade at level three. We're about halfway there. But I do like it, you know? I mean, the uh, building mechanics, very similar to the castle, but the fighting mechanics almost seem more sort of Total War-esque, but obviously a much, much more simple version. Like I can't right click and drag formations or anything like that. That would be pretty sweet. All right, so keep level three, we're almost there. And then at keep level three, I get like all the final upgrades. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Everything should be upgrading. And since I was using different buildings, does that mean, here we go. Well, let's get some men at arms popped out here. Like, and I wish these could have numbers and I, I would know which one is doing what. Yeah, definitely should be not upgrading spears first. Oh, there we go. There's all my guys. Production queue. All right, there we go. So after that, we're gonna want bow mastery, rain of arrows, and then full thrusts. Garrison of archers on the keep. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so now we have all of the upgrades we could ever want, right? I don't need any of these things. Oh, that's sweet. Now the castle actually has like all these archers around it. All right, so we're gonna want, since we got walls, I feel like arrows are gonna be good. And then spearmen, oh God, they're coming. Defend the walls. I can't get any more of that. I wish I could upgrade my walls to have men on them. Like I could expand out here and I could like do this, right? And I probably should have done that. All right, we need more archers. Oh, hey guys, what are you, what are you doing? This is a very advanced Mongol technique called distract the enemy. Now, the local village idiot, idiots were always sent out and had to basically be the distraction for all like the better guys, right? And uh, that's what they did. Not much is written because uh, about it because remember, history is written by the victors. The Mongols had a good time, but then like after that, they, they died, okay? They all died. I gotta say, like, this doesn't seem like a super easy difficulty level to me, even with unlimited resources. All right, let's 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 just get like all this stuff. How much wood do I, uh, stone do I have left? Enough. So I'm gonna build out and I'm gonna segment this stuff. I feel like it's the Titanic, you know? We're building out the little bulwarks, the bulkheads or whatever they're called. The ship can't sink. And that's exactly how I feel. So we know that means the ship will sink. We'll put one of these in each of them. I wish I could put more like guards on the wall, but I can't, at least not to my knowledge. Oh my God, I'm out of wood. Well, hopefully my soldiers don't cost wood, right? <laughs> Shoot. Wow. All right, so now what do we do? This is when you need a fast forward button so that we can get there to the end of the Mongol hordes. And units being able to bunch up on each other is interesting. We got, we definitely have some fire archers in here. Looks really cool though, especially from above. So we got the outer walls. I can't, oh no, my, I am generating wood from my main keep, of course. And some of them don't require wood. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, look at my production going on right now. We've got tons of stuff. And I like stuff. Unicap, we're not even like at 5,000. Elite Man at Arms has been created. Oh, we, we don't even have that. Jeez, what an amateur move. Let's repair that. So now we're running out of stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Each barracks has to... Oh yeah, so I'm building guys out of these ones and are they elite or is that a bug or a feature? Oh, the Mongols is here again. Those gosh dang Mongolians. Who watches South Park? That's like one of the best one. So here we go. The Mongols are at the gates. This walls actually need to be repaired, but I don't think I can. Oh, <gasps> yes, I can build gates. Okay, let's try that. We'll build a gate there, build a gate there, build a gate there. We'll put archers on this one, put archers on that one. We're out of wood. We can't put archers on there. Okay, so now I'm realizing that there was a little bit 
mechanic. Just a little thing that I may have totally missed on. Archers, maybe get away from those walls. Get up on those walls. Now, you can't get up on the walls, similar to, like, Stronghold, which is one of the best games, and that was built... That was made forever ago. All right, I definitely want to repair this, but I don't think... Yes, I can. If I had 608 wood, I could repair it. Flame and arrows, boys. Now, which wall do we want to have archers on? This one's got a gate. That's nice. Oh, you can't put archers on a wall that has a gate. I don't believe. I think they're mutually exclusive upgrades. That seems to be the way it is. Look at these guys, though, man. Talk they got the golden horde. I got the golden caps. All my guys are gold, boy. Wow. Repairing a wall is so expensive, it doesn't even make sense. That wall is like... I should just, like, destroy it. If I could control attack, it's similar to, like, you know, Command and Conquer <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, we are low on food now, and there's no way to reproduce food. I have no access... Wait, that is a lie. I am lying. I should have made one of those at the beginning. But, I mean, this is the first challenge, right? So it should be relatively simple. However... Oh my! Okay, so that that's not even the last Mongol horde, is it? Fortunately, these guys are just like, they can't do anything. Get out of arrow range, will ya? Oh my god, there's so many archers. Now, if I... Would I double-click all the archers? Oh, I do. All right, let's pull them all up here. So we'll counter fire. Now, let's see them. This is awesome, man. Oh my god, we are just bombarding them. All right, all archers target this area. This is when you want a Katyusha rocket launcher or the old world's version, the Hawachas, which apparently the Chinese made to fight off the Mongols, right? Dang. Wow. All right, knock arrows. Jeez, we're mowing through them. A lot of my units, though, are pretty pretty low and depleted, relatively speaking. This isn't even the last Mongol horde. Oh my god, they're all over here now, too. That's all my archers. Look at this. These are all, like, individual groups. And they all knock and fire around the same time. They can fire through the walls. No problem. All right, if I leave you all to your own devices, are you Bruh. smart? We'll get another thing of archers. Who? How did you guys run outside? Oh, a wall broke and they retreated and the horses are actually slower than you think. Oh, God. Oh, man, these guys are totally dead. All right, that's a bunch of spearmen, but we need to target their archers. Yeah, I kind of want them to break through the walls and I'm kind of wanting these guys to be able to fire. Upgrading archers for that may not have been the ticket. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I... I thought this was gonna be easy. The last Mongolia ar Mongolian army will destroy you. Got it. All right, so now everybody's just kind of wantonly charging out. It's fine as long as we win, which I don't think we're gonna do. Oh my God. All my Mongolia, this is insane. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no way we survive this, right? I mean, this is a keep level three. I can't even build anymore. I want to see just test. Will this have, will this be generating resources? If it is, I'm I'm dumb. You know, I mean, many mistakes were made in the the making of this episode. Don't destroy it. I gotta see this produce ten. Give me the plus ten. Elite Spearman is under attack. Yeah, he's dead. The entire game mode seems not properly balanced. <laughs> All the archers that were on the wall are no longer there because. They're dead. <laughs> Look at us. We're barely winning. Uh, we're not even winning. We're barely holding them off over there. Look at this rain of arrows. My god. Okay. But this game is free. It's called Videllum and the Golden Horde. So if you guys do want to check it out, use the link in the description. Pretty cool. Let me know if you guys do want to see me play more. I'm going to have to uh, be looking around. I checked the controls. This is the hard part. There's there's no control, so I can't find the get good button. So unfortunately, I'm not able to do that right now. We're gonna have to do the old-fashioned way of uh, practice. So if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for dealing with me being kind of sick, and I'll see you guys in the next video.